I go again. This is the one. I can sense it. I'm Shane Murray, field CTO of Monte Carlo. Today we're going to talk about the data platform. So let me start by defining what I mean by a data platform. The core components of a data platform can be broken down into, into layers. You essentially have the data warehouse and lakes where you're storing and managing the data. You have ingestion tools to bring in data. You have transformation tools to refine that data and, and uh, clean it. On top of that foundation, you should have a user access layer. And here's where you might have business intelligence tools, product analytics, or other tools that are used by data consumers, whether they be analysts or business users to get access to the data for the purpose of decision support. Other user access tools might be an experimentation tool uh, that's used by the organization that could be part of that user access layer, or even a customer data platform, uh, or CDP. Build vs. Buy is always a consideration for data teams, and at its simplest, you can think about the cost it'll take you to build and maintain a solution over what it would cost to buy the equivalent solution and how quickly you'll get up to speed with each scenario. You don't have time for a two-year build cycle. You need to actually find value in three months. And so with every data project, you should be looking for that time to value. But ultimately, I think data teams need to think about building where they actually can add unique value to the business and buying in cases where there's solutions that suit, say, 80% of their needs. What's become a critical part of the, the data platform is solving for quality solving for trust, uh, and solving for reliability. Striving for data quality is nothing new, but typically tests have been manually created. Data engineers were programming quality tests at specific points in a data pipeline, tackling small pieces of this stack, and really only tackling known issues within data pipelines. Quality tests often serve as a, as a great starting point and, a, and part of the arsenal for data engineering teams. But ultimately, with the volume, variety, and velocity of change in a data platform and in the data within, you need automation to get there and you need automation to actually cover the breadth and the depth of testing required. And so we've seen observability become a critical part of a data platform, ranging from the point of ingestion through to the point of reporting and analytics. What observability has allowed us to do is actually scale that testing through automation to achieve visibility and monitoring across the entire ecosystem, such that you're able to more rapidly detect, resolve, and then ultimately prevent data issues. It's an interesting time for data platforms because we're shifting from the data platform being mostly a cost center for the business to actually it being in a position where you can drive value. But in order to do this, the data team actually needs to get closer to the business needs to be able to understand those critical use cases and to, to actually deploy teams very close to those business problems that can tackle it over a long period of time in order to, to see through that sustained value that they can drive in the platform. Ultimately, I think the end goal of a data platform is for it to be extensible to many use cases for the business. But usually where teams have to start is a few critical use cases where they can demonstrate the value of the platform, test out the workflows that, that enable them to drive that value and build data products um, before they can scale it and make it extensible and scalable to, to any use case that the business may have. What, what did I wish I knew? What? Okay. <laughs> Some things I might do differently. I think uh, early on establishing standards for how data products will be built across the organization so that you have a consistent workflow for each data product that's developed and enable a lot more interoperability uh, and easy handoff as you have transitions from team to team. Also owning the communication of ROI from that data platform. From day one, you should be thinking about your cost of investment, what you're delivering in terms of direct business impact, and also how you're measuring the less tangible business results that you're driving, perhaps indirectly as you're providing services to other teams. <laughs>